This sort of thing. We did have one quite interesting thing. We had, just before the war, we had a German Fräulein teaching in the school. And um, she was very, very um, Hitler addicted. You know, she had a big picture of Hitler on the notice board always in her form room. And she was there to teach us German, of course. And in those days, I had long blonde pigtails. I must have looked the absolute perfect Aryan subject for her so she suggested to me that um, she would like to start a youth sort of club locally and I would be the leader which I mean to my silly sense of humor I mean that, there's no way that would have worked in any case but I didn't take any of this serious we thought it was all thought she was slightly scatty and you know but she used to walk into class and say Heil Hitler each morning and then my headmistress at school went with a group of girls to Germany um, and while they were there she collected up a little Jewish refugee girl, Brigitte, and managed to smuggle her out. Of, I don't know how, but she managed to smuggle her back to England because her parents had been shot while they were over there. And somebody that my, our headmistress knew said, could they possibly take this child back to England? So they brought her. And we became great friends at school. And um, I said, you know, this woman is absolutely mad as a hat of this German teacher. And the thing that annoyed me then was that she wouldn't speak to Brigitte. I, I thought this would be wonderful because Brigitte would have someone to talk to. But no, she wouldn't speak to her because the child was Jewish. And that really put up my hackles because I, I you know, thought anything like that was dreadful. So. I said to Brigitte one day, why? I said, there's something odd about this woman. I said, my German is minimal, but I said, she sounds odd. Come and listen to her in class. So we sat at the back of the classroom. You could sit and do your artwork and this sort of thing. So we were sitting behind these easels, painting and drawing. And at the end of the class, when Fräulein had gone out, and Brigitte said, I must go and speak to the headmistress. And she went to the headmistress and said, you know, that this is not an educated teacher. She, she is speaking the equivalent of absolutely broad Yorkshire. She's a real broad Bavarian dialect. And she said, I, I think there must be something odd about her coming to this country like this. Particularly because also in the course of the class, she had apparently said uh, she was wanting to do interesting things about the locality. And would the girls... Um, help her to make a map of Craven and put on, you know, the railway station and, and where there's soldiers here and where the, and so of course Brigitte took all this to the headmistress. Then we noticed something else odd. My aunt lived in Ash Grove, which is a little road that runs up by the high school. And Fräulein lived up at the school cottage there. And she used to sit up very late at night type, typing and working and used to go to the post box in the morning about five o'clock before anybody else was up. And so eventually this was filtered through to the headmistress and the police, and she was deported quite suddenly. So I think she was here to do a little bit of recruiting or finding out information. But 